Welcome to week 5 of the Return to Dance, the fitness workout. So hopefully you should have done your warm up already. This is going to be the easy version of the video. So actually what we're going to do this week, we're going to take out some of the exercises from from each, or I think we're going to take out a couple of exercises from the core workout and a couple of exercises from the plyometric workout. However, we're going to increase the time of duration for the exercises. And actually, no, for the core one, we're going to increase the time of duration. And the plyometric one, we're going to reduce the rest time. Okay, to make it slightly harder, even though we have taken an exercise out. So the exercises we're going to be doing, okay, the same as the same as normal. Okay, um, I won't go through all the movements now because we should be able to know each exercise from the previous weeks, especially as we're taking away exercises as well. There's no, there's no new exercises today. Is all exercise you've done before so we're just going to get straight into it because you've just done your warm-up as well we don't want to get cold and tight anyway so we've got we've got 14 exercises I think 14 exercises we're gonna be exercising this week for 30 seconds just 10 seconds more than last time and we're going to maintain the rest at 20 seconds. So 14 exercises, 30 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. First one is going to be a squat. So you should know how to do the, get into the squats. Again, both feet going forwards and you're going down. Okay, we're going to start. Don't forget to have your water bottle nipped by the side as well. I have mine. Okay, we're going to start. 14 exercises of the core workout in 5 seconds. 4, 3, into squats, 2, 1, and go. Five seconds left. And stop there. 20 seconds rest. Okay, so the exercise we've taken out is the V, the V plank, and we're also going to take out the ankle taps as well. We've got 10 seconds rest. We're going to the lunges. So get make sure you knee, your knees and above the toes as well as you're going down. Starting now. Let's go. 30 seconds. Ten seconds left. And stop there. Okay. Next one is the ceiling touches going up to the top, and then going down as well. Don't force it though. Don't forget to go at your own pace as well. Starting in five seconds. And go, ceiling touches. Five seconds left. And stop there. Okay, so the next one is the calf raises. Again, calf, or just lifting your toe, going up onto your toes and then come back down. So you're going to do this again 30 seconds and 20 seconds rest. So you've got five seconds to the calf raises. And go. Maybe focus on other point to make sure you've got balance. Halfway done. And 
and stop there. Okay, the next one, don't forget, you can do this on the, on the mat or your, oh yeah, your, your finished mat or on the, or stand up to the elbow to knee crunch. So we'll be doing, demonstrating it standing up. So now turn up to you, you've got chest open, you've got three seconds, two, one, and go. Halfway there. And stop there. So you have 20 seconds rest to get yourself on the mat. Okay, 20 seconds before we do the leg raises again. Now on your back, kick up, up, and then come down. If you can't do both legs, do one leg at a time. Ready? And go. Ten seconds left. And stop. Okay, so you have twenty seconds rest until you do the flutter kicks. So the flutter kicks again, small movement going up and down like that. Can't do it, just maybe Go at a slower pace and maybe rest after 10 seconds and go. Don't forget to breathe as well as you're doing it. Halfway there. And stop. Okay, you have 20 seconds rest to my favourite, which is the B sit. So again, with the B sits, straight arm and leg, go up and then down. Okay, so make sure you're going at your own pace, don't to grieve as you're going through the exercises. And go. And stop. Okay, so the next one, okay, this is the Russian twist because we're going to miss out the ankle taps as well. Okay, so we're doing the Russian twist though. So again, you can either have feet up in the air or feet down. And I demonstrate the feet down, you're rotating your trunk touching your side. Ready and go. Ten seconds left. And stop. Okay. We're in Twenty seconds until we get into the press ups again. If we do a press up, we knees on the off the floor, then going down, up. I'm going to demonstrate it with my knees on the mat, going down, and then up. Starts in three, two, one, and go. Halfway there.
and stop. Okay, the next one, yeah, the plank, again, the plank, then go forearm like that, or you can go on your knees, or you can go on your elbows, and like that, like that. And go forearm, three, two, one, and This should be the exercise where you can control your breathing the most. Ten seconds left. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, is the shoulder tap. Shoulder taps. Again, you can do these on your knees, knees on the floor. And just going down like that. Okay. And I want to demonstrate, or you can have your knees off the floor as well. Can you demonstrate it with your knees on the floor. And go. 30 seconds. Halfway there. And stop. So 20 seconds rest, okay, until we do everyone's least favourite exercise. Maybe after the B sits, gets the shoulder, or so the tricep dip. So we can either go legs straight and down, have legs bent. I'm going to demonstrate the legs bent. Okay, you've got 30 seconds, let's go. Halfway there. And stop. <laughs> okay, and that should be it actually. That should be the last of the exercises. I'm not sure why my interval counter is still going, but that is it for all the exercises there. Okay, so have a two minute rest, okay, and then we're going to go straight into the plyometrics. So with the plyometrics, okay, we are we've taken some of the exercises out, so we had last week with the burpees, this week we don't have the burpees, um, however we do all have the rest of the other exercises, still got the mountain climbers first, okay, and then what we're going to do is have 20 seconds exercise which is the same as last time and then 20 seconds rest I think it was I'll just double check quickly yeah I think it was 20 seconds rest last time so what we're going to do this time was the 30 what we're going to do 20 seconds 20 seconds on 20 seconds off okay so I think last time we had 30 seconds this time we're going to have 20 seconds rest in between as well okay so the exercises what we've got okay we've got mountain climbers so going down just want to show you the first one you can demonstrate it with the other ones mountain climbers just doing that okay then we've got jumping squats jumping lunges plane capers fast fast hops both sides the my steps the in and out squats okay the broad jumps the jumping jacks and then the more steps as well. So we're going to have 20 seconds exercise, 20 seconds rest. Okay, just going to get my interval timer. I do know we've got another minute left anyway as well. So we've got 11 exercises here. We've got 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest, and so we're cutting that recovery down by 10 seconds okay so we're going to give you another good 20 seconds rest okay then we're going to go straight into the biometrics okay and then next week we're going to add some of the exercises we we dropped this week 
to, this, to the session with the same rest and recovery as today's session as well. So it should progressively get harder each week. Okay, so we're going to start. Let's see, just going to grab some water myself. This should be a time for you to grab some water. So 11 exercises. Okay, 20 seconds work, 20 seconds rest. St starting the mountain climbers. Starting five. Let's get down to the mountain climbers. And go. Last few seconds and stop. Okay, the next one is the jump squats. So the jump squats going down and that's the jump. Okay, so you've got 10 seconds left. Five. Jump squats. Let's go. And stop there. Okay, the next one, we've got the jumping lunges. Can't do the lunge, the jumping lunge, just do a normal lunge. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, the next movement is the plank capers. As you do, finishing off for a fill down dance. Jump on one leg and onto the other. Okay, just over five seconds left. Three, two, one, plank capers, let's go. And stop there. Okay, the next one is the fast hops. Fast hops on the left leg and fast hops on your right leg. Okay, so 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Fast hops. And stop there. You should now be feeling your left calf contracting quite a bit. Okay, then we're going to go onto your right leg. We've run about 10 seconds left, so now you can see how it's getting hard as well. So, even though we're the same amount of exercises, the rest which is being cut. Start on the right, le right leg and go. Hops. And stop there, and stop there, sir. So. Okay, the next one is the mile steps. You can do the advanced step. And extravagant double step. Okay, normal double step, so. Or single step. Over the double step, double step, and go.
and stop there. Okay, so that's the more steps. Next one is the in and out squat, so you can go in, come back out, and that. If you can't do this one, just do a normal squat, and maybe with no jumps at all. Start in the five seconds. In and out squats. Let's go. And stop there. Okay. Next one the ball jumps. Okay, two fifty jumps. Go like that. Turn around. Two fifty jumps. Turn around. Okay. Got five seconds left. Ball jumps. Let's go. And stop there. Okay, the next one, okay, is the jumping jacks, jumping out, then jumping in. Okay, 10 seconds left. Three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds left. Two, one, and stop. Okay, the last exercise left now then, is the more steps. Again, you can do any of the more steps you like. I'm going to demonstrate the single step to finish as well. So it's the last exercise. Give it all the energy you've got. Three, two, one, and go. And stop there. Okay, that is the exercises. So hopefully you didn't find it too tough, even though we dropped a couple of exercises, we did increase the amount of exercise time or reduce the resting time as well. So that is week five of the Return to Dance Fitness workout. Hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you go down and do the cool down now. Just make sure you don't feel achy or sore after the, after the session. Hope you enjoy the video and see me next week.